Okay. There are many great benefits to sitting back and just being the observer for so long. And for many reasons, I have my health to thank for that because I wasn't able to do much else or did I feel like doing much else when you're not really feeling that well. The last thing you want to do is appear on a blog and say anything. So I've been observing for a long time. <laughs> um, and I observe a lot of people many channels and um, with that said now I'd like to approach the topic of aliens and UFOs and why this is important to all of humanity and because once again I'm not so called qualified nor have the experience on any one subject I'm simply the observer I do know the correct people to link you on as to why this is so important. So, with that said, let me guide you a little bit further. Bridget Nelson and her father are a great place to start on the importance of ET communication and why that is important to humanity. Robert Dean is also another great resource point. Project Camelot awesome place to go. Carrie Cassidy's been working extremely hard. I believe, uh, let's see, Dr. Stephen Greer. He goes into great lengths about that. Um, Skya TV, I believe it is. Um, my dog, she's going to distract me again. <sighs> let's see. Um, there are so many. Uh, Miriam Delgado, I believe her name is. Another wonderful reference point. Uh, she's actually a contactee. And if you do your research, you'll find that most so-called abductees are, even they actually consider themselves to be contactees, not abductees. Uh, what's his name? Uh, see where Dark Matter, I believe. He's had his personal experiences. I hope you don't mind me putting that out there. Um, I went to regression through his experience. And it's amazing what the ETs and the, those of higher intelligence are actually trying to help us with. It can also be seen through entities and channeling such as Bashar, Cryon, Abraham Hicks. Like I said, I've been observing everyone, so forgive me for throwing it all out there. But I think it's important for you all to know that, you know, on the human side of things and people and their experiences, which people have discounted them immeasurably, uh, you know, tried to discredit or um, decharacterize these individuals for their own personal experiences with ETs and there are good and bad but you know the ETs have helped prevent nuclear warfare radiation events our galactic brothers and sisters this may sound fair far-fetched for many of you who have not already done your homework uh, please check out Corey Good great reference material there he's part of the uh, Sphere Being Alliance with the Blue Avians. We've got, um, who else is on the front lines with this? There's so many. So many that many of y'all may not be aware of. So I'm going to just throw out these names in hopes that, you know, it will encourage you to further your research. And open your mind a little bit as to what's truly going on around us because our truth is you know sci-fi sci is put out there sci-fi right and a lot of things are put out as comedy but once you realize there is so much truth to that and that our truth is truly stranger than fiction you won't be so quick to dismiss those and discredit those that come forth with their stories because there are so, so many that are coming forth that it, it's, you can't ignore it. You can't stay in your little ignorant bubble of bliss any longer. 
Because what, you're going to discredit the whole entire universe for, you know, coming up with their truth and their experiences? You're going to say they're all just nuts because you want to remain in a bubble of ignorant bliss? I mean, it gets to a point you just, you can't any longer ignore what's going on around you. You have to venture outside yourself in your own little world. It'd be pretty arrogant to think we were alone in the universe after all anyway. So anyway, that said, gonna put a reference link down below, like always. Much love, Snugglebug, aka Angel.